Can you hear me now? Right, Rob. Just let me know if you can hear audio, if you can hear me speaking, Rob. Thanks, mate. I was doing this a minute ago and uh, everyone was saying they couldn't hear uh, audio. Yeah, it's on. Alright Rob, thanks mate. Take care. Speak to you again soon mate. Just let me know, uh, I've been told you can hear audio. Um, can you hear me mud? Brendan, can you hear me? Tom, can you hear me? You can hear me now, brilliant. I'm going to put the uh, flashlight on, just so you can see this room. Some of you won't even know what this room like Brendan's not even seen inside this building before, he's only ever been passed on the outside. That's actually the old fire pole. There's this one in this room, and there's one next door. It would be nice if the university had some sort of plaque to remember the uh, fire officers who came down on this pole, saved many lives. Uh, like I said before on the other camera, there's probably fire officers who came down this pole but never came back. So as I was saying before, when I was in my own, it's just thanking them for what they've done. Because people don't realise the firefighters in this building, not only were the firefighters, a lot of them fought in the Boer War. So they came back from a war to join the fire service. This is the other part of the pole. So there will be an engine in this room and one next door. These windows weren't here at the time, obviously. So this is where the engines would have come out of. I was saying before on the other camera, when I first started working at university, one of my first days locking up on my own, on the uh, present, I was in this room and this went flying past me, bounced off a table and hit the floor.
Now, even though I want to say it's paranormal, I can't really say that because uh, at the same time I was wearing a long coat, the coat was open. For all I know, it could have been on a table, I could have caught it in my jacket and it could have flew that way. But it was still good, the speed it went at, it didn't half go at a, uh, a speed. I'm going to go down into the, uh, the basement area. See what we can get there. Truthfully, it's, it's not been, uh, I won't say it's not been great, it's, you know, it's been the odd orb here and there. Um, a female coming from the spirit box. Brandon said he could hear a female on the actual camera. So I'm walking across now to the other side of the building. Those of us who work in this building, we know full well that you've got to go up to go to the other side. It's a weird one. again I pushed the door sorry pulled the door instead of push how many times it's not as dark as I like it to be um, there's natural light coming in from the streets. I'm going to go up to, uh, before going to the basement, this is a really good part of the building. This is where the, uh, the senior fire officers were. on blue room. You belong in the blue room mate. For me. Never got a blue room strong enough mate. Right in this room, as you know earlier on, with the K2 not getting much but it's a lot cold up here but like I said that's down to the windows I think. In fact that they're quite old windows and seals aren't the best. What's this conversation? What's going on now? from a paranormal investigation to the Bragshaws. Right, let's go down into the, uh, let's get into the basement area. As you can see, I've got my K2 with me in my pocket. Completely different vibe on here now. Actually, I've got to say, coming down, this is the stairway, the stairs where I could put the uh, seniority figure. And I'm walking down now, it's a completely different feeling. This is the only part of the building where I actually feel a bit, not intimidated, just a little bit nervous. That camera's died on me, that was a full battery.
Right, the basement. It's freezing down here, would be, be in the basement. I don't think I've seen this bit before. Talking to George earlier on tonight on the handover, he was saying he said apparently there was a, an old tunnel leading from the um, old fire station into the Crescent Police Station in the basement area. I've not heard that before. I've just come down here now. I've not seen this, but I've seen this. Try and get the camera a bit closer. Fucking hell. leading outside or if it's uh, an old tunnel that's been, been uh, sealed up is there anyone down here with us which is to communicate Really low, the ceiling down there. Sorry, there's a water in there. I just uh, nice. I pick up on things, people are normally know that. Uh, there's a water in to me. I just walked into someone, basically. That's the feeling I got. There's me isn't behind me. Right, let's get further in. I'm going to be quite honest. Now that there, uh, that's another one. Now I don't know if it is going to be a tunnel. Or whether it was a join through, whether that room was one big room. And then this was like a cut through to it, I don't know. Uh, I'm not happy in this room one bit. Now, there's a lot of old furniture in there, which is pretty dated. People naturally are feared, uh, are scared of basements. Well, that's mainly because of like Hollywood films and stuff like that. It's always in the basement, it's up now. So that's not the, uh, the reason why I'm feeling a bit freaked out a little bit down there. It's felt when I walked in that room. It literally felt like I walked into someone. Okay, strange. Now I'm just moving the brick, that's what the noise is. I wonder what the noise is. I don't want to get locked in. Does it go to the bank side that? Is it a tunnel? I'm awful like Brendan, we'll have to, definitely have to meet up sometime and do an investigation together. I know you've been into the paranormal for quite a long time. And you uh, know what you're on about. So yeah, I'm up for that, mate. Ah, shit. I was going to open that door then, but I can see it's got a uh, an alarm sensor. So it'll trigger off, and it's locked anyway with a key. That'll be interesting to find out. What that door is. Right, while I'm down here, I'm going to put a K2 a bit of a distance away from me so it doesn't interfere, the camera doesn't interfere with it. Okay. 
Oh, look at that. KT is going berserk. Completely different vibe down there than what it was upstairs. Upstairs felt very comfy, very satisfying, you know. Could sit up there for hours basically. But down here is completely different. That KT is going absolutely berserk. Do you mind me being down here? If you do, can you make the box go to red, please? All the way to red, if you mind me being here. If you want me to leave, sorry, that's me confusing you there. If you want me to leave, make that box go to red. Make it go all the way to red. Did that go to red then? Can you do it again, please? All the way to red if you want me to leave. So it came towards me now, I'm not moving at all. So you know where I've put that K2, as you can see it's on the chair. There's no electrical device apart from that which isn't plugged in. And the DVD player underneath and the, for some reason the Sky HD box, I don't know why. But they're not plugged in, they don't work. There is a light in here, but it's not going to kick off because of the light. Because look at the distance from where the light is to the K2. Was you a firefighter? Was you a fireman in this building? Do you put out fires? I've just got absolutely freezing cold. I am asking questions, Wood. <laughs> just remember, mate, you're only a supervisor in work. Was you a firefighter? What on the floor, Tom? The K2? Tom, do you want the K2 on the floor? You see that then? Tom Knight, I'm asking you a question. Do you want the K2 putting on the floor? Sometimes it's easier to get a message from the spirits than it is you. This K2 is still going berserk. I'm going to put it on the floor, see what happens. I don't know if that's what Tom's saying, but if I put it on the floor and I can't bend back up because of my back, I'm blaming Tom. You hear that, mate? That's weird. Let's try the chair again. Can you go towards that box, please? Make it flash again. The box on the floor. Can you move towards it, please? A bit late now. I've already done it, Tom. Can you make the box flash, please? I'm going to put it back on the chair. I want to try something. chair I'm standing right over here
My words are actually stopped now. Don't have to apologise, mate. Now it's not going to be um, my camera because I'm too far away for it to interfere. If I stood right next to it, then yeah, obviously. But as you can see, I'm stood on the other side. Well, not on the other. Well, I am basically on the other side of the room because this is all this room is. I'm gonna try the other chair because I'm just wondering if. Harder to see because of the blue chair, but it is. It's a. Uh, so I just went flying up past my camera there. Yeah, it is quite weird this. There's no interference. I don't know what's going on. I've not known a K2 lights up. That much before on his own, unless it's obviously it's a strong energy. And I'm still way back enough. Back enough, is that even English? Uh, I don't, can you get into the basement on the bank side? I don't know if you can. I'll have a look, Keith. I'm just going to stand over it. I just want to uh, see if that's still. So it's when I'm in that room. I'm still at the same distance now as what I was. Yeah, then, as I was. For God's sake, sometimes. I need to think before I speak. Right, I'm going to go back in. It's a different atmosphere in this room. It's this room. Whoever it is does not like me in this room. Do you want me to leave this room? Make that box light up if you want me to leave this room. I will respect your wishes and I will leave this room. Light the box up one more time. Door outside? What, in the garden? Right, I'm going to leave this room. Thank you for uh, interacting. We got a key to the door in the garden. Brendan saying no stay. Uh, I'm actually with Brendan with that one, truthfully. Sorry, Keith. I will check that in a minute, mate. But um, this is the first activity I've had really in this room, in this building. What I'm going to do, let me change. outside Keith. The only door I know outside is in the garden lead going down the steps. I know I said I was leaving I do apologise I am going shortly. Put the K2 back on. Try and get some um, intelligent answers. Did you work in this building? Are you from this building? Just a constant bleak. I didn't know there was a door there, mate. I'll have a look in a minute. Are you a gentleman? Are you a male? Was it a swipe door? Didn't know that. Right, I don't know if you've heard that on the uh, on the camera. Let me know if you did. I've just heard um, a voice. Well, that's what I'm. Hmm. 
anyone else hear that? That was me just then, but anyone else hear that before? Can you copy me? Can you whistle? Still, still going on. What what you say now, to mate? I'm gonna move through the basement a bit more. It is absolutely freezing in this bit. What what you say now, to? So you typed up there, Brandon. I mean you no harm. All I can offer is my hand in friendship. No harm is intended. That's a good one, Brandon. I'll use that one uh, in future, mate. So we can't ride towards me now. I'm standing straight uh, still. Across the camera. Can you move something in this basement? All these boxes, can you move something? Yeah, what if you're asking about the noise here? It was like a uh, very um, a soft murmur. Um, I couldn't work out if it was male or female. I'm going to do it now so when you hear it, that's me. It was just like, mm. but in the distance. It was down, down here in the basement with me, but very, very um, soft, very quiet.
take this stuff up with me. That's me banging. Okay, I'm going to put these lights on. I'm going to put my stuff together and I'll have a quick look at that basement door, see if I can get in. If I can, I'll uh, film it live so you know. It is still the old station, it's used for the, uh, the VC, the Vice Chancellor of the University now. So it is still used. So that's why as I'm doing this, I've stayed out of the uh, office areas, i.e. the VC's room, for obvious reasons. I don't fancy losing the job. Right guys, I'm going to go and... Um, See if I can get into that basement area Keith was mentioning. Uh, so I'm going to have to turn this off so I can pack some stuff away. But I will be wrapping it up soon anyway. It's uh, 1.30 now. I'm back in tomorrow. Go out the back door around the corner to your left. Right, I'll have a look Keith. Keep an eye on Facebook because like I say, I'll go live. If I get in, I'll go live on Facebook so you know. So I'm going to end this one now. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully back on soon.